Hello everybody and welcome back to some more BD Armoury. Today we're taking a look at fast craft, um, very fast craft, supersonic craft. In fact, very nearly hypersonic craft, tantalisingly close to hypersonic, but we'll uh, we'll get onto that in a little while. This all came about because when I was designing one of my fighters, the Panther, um, when I was doing it with a slightly flying wing-esque design and um, with the shot code intakes, I was thinking, that looks a little bit Blackbird SR-71-ish. So I thought, well, um, let's let's throw together some KSP analog of the Blackbird spy plane, and this is what a K I came up with. The uh, this is the Raven, um, and uh, well, there's not much call for a spy plane in BD Armory or in KSP generally. So I've repurposed this as a long-range, near hypersonic bomber, um, and we're going to go take this up, see what it can do see what the pros and cons of attacking with this kind of craft are, and then, um, well, see if there's any way we can actually reasonably counter this kind of craft with KSP and uh, BD Armoury. But uh, first things first, let's take this thing up for a spin and see what it can do. So let's get this thing rolling. We will want to turn the engines on, brakes off, throttle up. I'm going to go to about two-thirds. I'm using the, uh, the Whiplash Turbo Ramjets here. If you're going to use these in KSP, it might also be a good idea to use the uh, the shock code intakes. And if you're going to be going sort of like above Mac 3, kind of towards Mac 4, you're going to want these engine pre-coolers because otherwise you're just going to you're just going to melt your engines. I think we're going pretty I think we're going pretty quickly enough there. So we'll just pull up and um, get going into a steep climb. We want to climb quite high. Uh, so this this sort of uh, flies optimally at a I think probably about 16,000 meters. Um, anyway, yeah, I've got a shed load on fuel, the fuel on board, so that's not going to be an issue. Um, yeah, these uh, these turbo jets, you might have seen them. Uh, these ram jets, you might have seen them used on some fighters and some BDRE videos. Um, it's a bit of an odd choice; they don't have that much gimbling. Um, so they're just kind of a straight line speed, and even then, they only really pick it up. Um, sort of when they get going, the faster they go, the more the higher their thrust is. So if you're, if you're doing a dogfight, it's not really that handy. Um, but yeah, you can see we're still accelerating here, getting up reasonably high. Um, quite a high uh, sort of angle of climb, and uh, the engine's handling that no problem. Let's throttle it all the way up and see what happens. Still looking good. Now this thing. This thing has all the cornering capabilities of a cannonball in flight, so yeah, it's not that easy to um, not basic control. I might try. Oh, it's not going too bad. When you get up higher, it's a little bit trickier to handle. I might just start to level it off here. So how are we doing? Kind of coming up on Mach three at the moment, and yeah, we get you see the aerodynamic effects there. Um, if I didn't have these engine pre coolers this would this would already be giving me kind of like the warning temperature bar. But um, yeah, if you want to build a craft like this, the the, the ramjets are, they're a kind of a weird one. They're sort of not much use for the kind of craft you'd build like this. Uh, they're not much use kind of in BD armory for that kind of reason. Um, we're going to try and find a use for them today, obviously. Um, but they're not much uh, they're not much use if you want to go to space. So they're kind of a weird one. Um, but anyway, how are we doing? We are getting up quite high. 1474 should be hypersonic for a, roughly this altitude. I'm going to ditch the nose, um, point the nose down slightly, try and pick up a bit more speed. I think that's a bit too much. There we go, just gently get it. What can we get up to? 1424. 50 meters per second. That's that's pretty close to hypersonic. I did was thinking about calling this video "Going Hypersonic," but then the uh, my inner pedant kind of got the better of me, and uh, yeah, I just decided to to call it "Going Supersonic." Um, lots of craft, of course, uh, actually do depend on the whole supersonic thing. The Eurofighter, quite famously, is designed to carry out all phases of its mission whilst going supersonic, giving it the edge on. Um, other craft. It's why it's not a sort of an out-and-out -out stealth aircraft. It can sort of get away with that. But yeah, anyway, so we built ourselves a pretty fast bomber. So uh, 
now let's think about using it. But before we do, there's there's kind of there's some pros and some cons to this. Uh, the pros are well, you're going to get into range of your your bombs or your air to ground missiles before any interception craft really have a chance to take off. But the uh, the cons, hmm. Well, let's go and take a look. So I've flown us a little distance away from the KSC. Um, actually, quite a lot of distance away from the KSC, more than I was intending to. But that's kind of one of the hazards of going nearly hypersonic. But uh, we've turned round and we're heading back there, hopefully for a bombing run. But um, a bombing run presents its own difficulties. I've got all my bombs, uh, all my weapons, all my weaponry safely stowed in this little um, bomb bay here, just to reduce wind resistance, ensure that we can go as fast as possible. But uh, well, first of all, that means that BDR is not really going to like it if you try and um, if you try and use air-to-ground missiles. And for bombs, it kind of presents another problem. So if we bring up sort of uh, nope, wrong one. Weapons. Let's bring up the uh, bombs. And as per usual, when you uh, select bombs, you get this little handy targeting reticule. And um, as you go faster and faster, the reticule moves farther and farther out in front of you to sort of indicate the fact that. Um, the bombs are going to travel a much further distance given your higher speed but um, when we're traveling silly speeds and I mean really stupid speeds something kind of unhelpful happens a little past Mach 2 I think it is um, there and you have absolutely no idea where your bombs are going to land okay so I'm gonna to have to judge this reasonably well let's open the uh, those Bombay doors, and I reckon I need to launch it about now. There goes one. Let's close those doors, and let's go and see how our bomb gets on. I don't think that's looking too bad, you know. Now, obviously, in the real world, with trained professionals, with a wealth of experience, and the benefit of a, a lot of planning, then... Um, well, they, they probably know better than to drop a bomb out of a plane travelling at four and a half times the speed of sound. But um, that aside, I think this is clear. Yeah, this is this is going to overshoot. I uh, I dropped it from a fair distance back, and yet still we've gone straight past it. Um, but let's pretend for a second that this was actually an effective strike craft, and we could bring it in and reliably bomb our target to rubble. How the hell would we defend against that? So in an attempt to create some kind of defence against this craft, I've gone and thrown together this. Uh, something I've nicknamed the Hornet for now, I might change the name, um, given its association with a certain very famous uh, US Air Force craft, but um, yeah, it'll do. It's basically a supersonic engine with as little attached to it as I, can, as I think I can get away with. And... Um, quite a lot of weaponry as well, so these the job of these is basically to uh, See the craft coming in, I've got their range set to about 70 kilometers, um, I'm not sure that'll be enough. See it coming in, take off and hopefully intercept this craft. The idea is um, hopefully it will intercept our Raven over here before it gets over the KSC. That's sort of an arbitrary goal I'm setting for it, so um, I'll get this up flying, uh, turned around and I will see you again in a second. So here we are, I've just turned us around. There's not a lot of room to manoeuvre in, given that I've set these to 70 kilometres and strange things start to happen with BDRE at 100 kilometres. Um, I think don't think physics range extender quite goes out that far, so I've turned us around and we are accelerating towards our target and our Hornets are taking off, but will they be able to get to us before we get to them? There goes the, uh, the flickering. I think we're going to need to turn slightly. There we go. This is not an easy thing to control. I don't really want to gain much more altitude. But I think we can stand to start losing some. There we go. How are the Hornets doing? 40 kilometres already. 35. Half. We've cut the distance in half already. Um, these Hornets are trying to close their distance. Unfortunately, they only have a maximum speed of... 800 meters per second is all that BD Armory will allow you, the autopilot. But looks like they're going for missiles. Oh, but no, it's t this craft is too fast for them. Hmm. 
let's um, let's see if we can try that again, but give our interceptors a fighting chance. So some slight changes this time around. I'm uh, only going to I'm limit going to limit this to about two thirds throttle, and I'm going to try and keep it at around about a thousand about four thousand meters of altitude. So my Hornets should have taken off by now, or should be taking off. I haven't switched the team on my Raven, have I? That would help. And off they go. Um, how are we getting on? 400 meters per second. We're still going to get quite fast with this thing. Let's so probably start trying to pick up a bit of altitude, or at least not drop quite so quickly. Hornets into the air, raising the landing gear, picking up speed quickly. I've also I've gone through and tried to tweak the, um, the autopilot as much as possible to try and get this something approaching workable, but my god, these ramjets are powerful once they get going. We're only on two-thirds and all throttle already. We're kind of getting up towards a thousand meters per second, and we're climbing again. Let's try and um, let's try and notch that down, but we are down to half that distance already. It's just it's ridiculous at this kind of speed, just... I mean, a kilometre just goes by in the blink of an eye. How are they getting on? Closing the distance. 20 kilometres now. There they go for the missile lock. Are they actually going to get to fire anything this time? Here's closest approach. Are they going to do anything? Oh, and there go the missiles. And they just fly up completely behind me. I know I'm already well out of sight of the interceptors. Hmm. Okay, I am going to softball this one as much as I possibly can for the, for the defenders. So, um, coming in full throttle, but I've got the air brakes extended, which is keeping us to just under the speed of sound. Let's see if these interceptors can finally actually do something. I just want to see if it will actually vaguely work by this point. But I mean, this is why supersonic craft are so difficult to defend against. As I, as I just said, it's, it's, it's huge distances covered in virtually no time at all. By the time you've scrambled your interceptors, it, you know, the enemy craft has dropped its bombs and left. But, um, I'm hoping this provides a few more fireworks. It's just an excuse to see things explode. By this point in the video, I'm getting quite desperate. How are we doing? Speed. Our speed is picking up. Oh, that's the target. That would kind of make a bit, a bit more sense. 20 kilometers. Hornets. Yeah, still restricted to that 800 meters per second. By the uh, by, the BD Armory autopilot. It's a pain. That's one of the I think that's one of the major limitations on this whole exercise. But uh, never mind. There we. Oh my word! And no, they just go flying straight past us. Finally managed to turn. They are getting their sights on us. They have um, selected their missiles. Will they finally be able to do any damage to us whatsoever? They're slowing down for some reason. I think it's they're trying to match our speed as they're getting close. There go two missiles. One of them explodes without getting anywhere near us. Here comes the gunfire. Two missiles. No, they just explode without doing any damage whatsoever. So again, we're over the KSC and none of those interceptors has managed to even touch us yet. Here we go. Will this be it? Will our interceptors finally do some damage? Here come the guns. Completely missing us. There we go. And shredded. And our interceptor comes flying through. Well, that was... That was a long wait. Hmm. Oh, and also, just as it made the kill, my interceptor ran out of fuel. So, uh, yeah, lucky it, lucky it got the kill when it did. So, supersonic strike aircraft, very effective. In fact, um, almost too effective. I'm not sure if we use this in any future videos. It survived a little too well. There's been 
nowhere near as many explosions as there should have been for a BD Armory video, you know. Not as if I'm bitter about it or anything, but, um... How unfortunate. Thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.